Hey guys, today for our craft project we are going to make a fall handprint tree. So what you will need for this is a toilet paper tube. I painted mine brown um, and the toilet paper tube will end up with two slits. In the top you'll need a brown construction paper handprint. Um, this one I just cut out but if you stick your hand onto a piece of paper or trace it, cut it out that way. And then you're going to need different color leaves. So I used red, orange, and yellow. And to make these, I folded a piece of construction paper in half and literally just cut little half moons along the fold to create my folded leaves. Okay? So I have 12 different leaves here. I don't know that I'm going to use that many. Um, depending upon how big your handprint is, you might use more, you might use less. Alright, I'm going to angle down this so you can see what I'm working on. Alright, so I have my handprint here, and I have my glue stick, and I'm going to take my leaves, and I'm going to glue, I'm just going to glue one side. That way they still have some uh, dimension to them. And I'm just going to start gluing them to my handprint tree. Okay. You know, wherever you want to put them, whatever colors you want to use. If you decide that you want some brown leaves, cut out some brown leaves on your con with your construction paper. Um, I figured that brown would, would blend in too much to the handprint itself. But that's me. You might choose to do something different. And... It doesn't look like I really needed 12 leaves. I think I only really needed 8. Maybe one more. I think I'm going to do a red one. Right down here. Okay. And then, yeah, I'm going to keep adding some more. I'm going to do a yellow one. Right, or, this isn't yellow, this is orange. One up here. And then, I kind of want to move my red one there and put a yellow one on that all right and that's the beauty of a glue stick is you can pick it up and move it around and it's not going to really be sticky on the paper so once you're done with that you're going to take your your tree trunk here um, and you don't have to paint it if you don't want to I just did I painted it earlier and I painted the inside of the top here you can see not the bottom um, just to kind of help keep it similar. Um, also, for some reason on the inside of this toilet paper tube, there is writing. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but there's print in here, and so I wanted to cover that up as well. Okay, so I have my two slits, and I'm going to take my handprint, and I'm going to stick it into the tree trunk. And there you have your handprint tree. Now, like I said before, you can add uh, more leaves. You don't have to add as many leaves. You can cover up the whole handprint with the different color leaves if you like. However many leaves you want to put on there, you can. If you want to go outside, or if you have extra leaves from your nature collage, you can just you can add those leaves as well, and you can use those leaves instead of construction paper leaves. It's all kind of what you want to do. Um, if you don't have any empty toilet paper rolls, uh, I was pretty lucky. You can use an empty um, paper towel roll and cut it in half and use that for your tree trunk. Um, if you don't want to paint your tree trunk on the outside or the inside, like I said, you don't have to. I just wanted to um, because I think it, to me, it gives it a better color. Um, if that's too much hassle for you, don't worry about it. I hope you can enjoy putting this craft together. And um, I hope it looks just as beautiful as you want it to. And I hope you have a wonderful day.